Hello everybody, Badforge Games here, and welcome to a video where I'm going to show you how to make your SCP Containment Breach game run a little bit faster. Now, I've got a decent computer, and I didn't realise at first that why it was running slow when I first bought it. So, you may have a fast computer, it may, the games may still be running at like 20 frames per second or so. So, I'm going to show you how to make it run a bit faster. Right, first off, you're going to want to find out your optimal screen resolution, because if it goes, you can lower the resolution and make the game look worse which makes it run a little bit faster, but it's probably best to run it at your optimal screen resolution, which mine is 1360 by 768 That's how. That's the best it'll run it. Also, you're going to go to your graphics. If you have a gaming computer, you'll probably have two, rather than your, so you'll have your primary display drive from your um, graphics card there. So, you're going to want to tick your better graphics card. Do not, if there's two options, it's probably best to tick the bottom one rather than the primary display driver. So once you've ticked that, these are probably the best ones you can go full screen or not. I don't, so I can manage my recording equipment, etc. So, once you've done all that, you can launch the game and get on with the next part. Okay, back to the next part. Right, we're in the game now. This is the uh, startup screen you'll need to do this. You're going to want to go to the options page and disable. So you have these two here, which is the enable HUD which is your heads-up display, and enable bump mapping. You're going to want to untick bump mapping. This means you get rid of 3D textures on the map, which tends to be the floor or some walls. There's not many, but it's probably best to untick it, because it always speeds up a little bit. I have it ticked, because my computer's fast enough to deal with them. You're also going to want to... Well, this is more for your viewing perspective. You're probably going to want to adjust your gamma or reduce it. This only works in full-screen mode. I'm not in full-screen mode, because I edit it at the end. So, once you've unticked that, you can mess around with your controls, things like that, sensitivity, the, but that's most the most important of all of them. You're going to want to untick that to make it run faster. So I'll just use that as an example. Click back. And that's pretty much how you're going to make it run faster. The only other options you have to make it run a little bit faster is to close your web browser or any other programs you're running in the background, like iTunes, because that takes up a lot of your um, hard drive, not hard drive, RAM. So once you've unticked all those, and gone through the startup screen that I showed you. The game should run a little bit faster. So I'll just do a quick example. Just go into my SCP-096 chase file, which doesn't have anything in it at the moment. And I will show you a frames per second difference if it loads. Okay, so without bump mapping, I can't really show you properly because uh, I've got my frame rate stuck at 30. So without bump mapping, you'll see that this floor does not have much of any texture to it. It's not; it's all flat. But if you enabled bump mapping, all this would be sort of 3D. So this will make it run faster because you don't have that option ticked. I'll right, put on the screens a comparison of what it's like playing with and without when I'm not recording. So yeah, hope this video helped out with you people with a slower computer. If you have a slower computer, I can't really help much if you have a single display drive because you're pretty much stuck with the only one you have so I consider buying a new game like a new computer. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm not sure if it'll be much help to you but if it is then hit that like button and comment if there's any other things that you think make the game run a little bit faster to help other people that have a slower computer. Anyway, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye.